Hi folks, in today's video I am going to be comparing the Featherlight 700 stove against the Speedster stove setup which I've been using for some time now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this video up into five segments. I'm going to have usability, I'm then going to follow up with the weight, efficiency, longevity and then finally the cost and then at the end of the video I'll do a quick summary on which one I would pick. So without further ado, let's get stuck right in. So we'll kick off the video with usability and we'll start off with the Speedster stove setup. This is my Mai Tai 650 pot from Alpkit. I've had this for a good while now. See that's pretty well suited up. In this little bag we have the Speedster stove pot rest stroke windshield which is here. This basically just opens out, make sure the legs are facing in the way. There's two little button presses here, just line them up and click them in like so. Make sure the little legs are folded out. Open up your stove, top that up with bioethanol and then pop your stove in. Obviously top up the water, light it up and you're away. Simple as that, so that's quite easy to get set up, no problem at all. So we'll just push that one aside for now. Now we shall have a look at the Featherlight 700. Now I've only boiled this once, so I'm still pretty new to this system. So the cone system fits inside the pot and you're presented with two thin sheets of titanium and there's these little tabs here which just slot in like so. Same again here, Let me just slot in. Now to line up you put the joins together at the back there, oh, see this can be a little bit pernickety, I've had a few attempts at this now. <laughs> Yeah, so I've lined up the rear there, and what you do is there's little slots and you just work your way around, slotting them in and hoping that it doesn't spring out. Uh, <laughs> typical when you do the video, it's the one time you're going to struggle with it. Finally, that's it ready. God knows how long that took, I'll put a timer on at the bottom of the screen. So then you'd put your pot in, which is a nice snug fit. Obviously you top up your water. Very same system with the stove. You just put that underneath, light it and away you go. So there you have it. There's both systems set up, ready to go. Now, how am I going to score this for usability? For me, the Speedster stove one definitely wins. It's so much simpler to get set up. This one's a bit fiddly. I'm sure once I use it a little bit more often, I will get used to it. But it's just lining up those slots and getting it all fitted together. I know that weight is an important factor for most backpackers, me included. So, the Featherlight 700 comes in at 150 grams. The Speedster setup comes in a little bit heavier at 200 grams. This includes the pot, the shield, and the little stoves underneath. Now, you do need some extras as well, and I carry this here in a little Cuban fiber bag. I'll just show you the contents. So this all weighs 230 grams. So I've got 100 ml of bioethanol. That is more than enough for a one night away. I usually come home with about 40 ml, but I just like to carry a little bit extra. I've also got a lighter, this is a Primus one that I've had for donkey's ages. You can see there that the, the lacquers came off. I also carry a little mouthwash cup that I picked up. I've started measuring out my bioethanol and I've noticed since doing that, I do save a lot of fuel now. So that's worth the wait. And an optional extra to save you scotching the ground underneath is a little base plate that Speedster stoves also sell. I know a lot of people use a little bit of um, kitchen fill from their kitchen, so that's an option as well, but 
this is obviously just going to last that bit longer. So there you have it. In the weight category, that one goes to the Featherlight 700. It is the battle of the stoves. Who is going to win? To my left, we have got the Wild Side Adventures titanium stove. And on my right here, we have got the Speedster stove set up. I've got roughly 350ml in both pots. The burners are roughly the same size. I put 20ml of bioethanol in each. So what I'm going to do is just basically time them, see which one boils first. So let's get this set up. Three, two, one. We'll just set that now. Give or take a couple of seconds. And over they go. So there is more heat escaping out this one, because obviously that is circular, keeping it all in. So that one is your pentagon shape. Could be here a while. It's not the tortoise and the hare. It is the tortoise and the tortoise, but which tortoise will be faster? I'll probably speed this up to be honest, because I'm not going to have you sitting there for eight minutes waiting for the boil. Almost, this one's pretty much there. I'm going to wait until it's like proper boiling. Pretty much now. So that's eight minutes for the Wild Side Adventures. Speedster stoves a little bit behind. Yeah, eight minutes. Now we're at the point this one's boiling and that is nine minutes. So yeah, a whole minute faster. Pleased to report those handles are not hot so I can safely take that out. I've got rubber tubing on my Speedster stove set up. So that's fine as well. There you go, folks. Ta -da! So as you can see from the footage outside, there was one clear winner in that. Taking seven minutes to boil 350 milliliters was the Featherlight 700. And this is always going to be more efficient. It just holds the heat better. There's no heat escaping from the sides, whereas the speedster starts falling to bits. With the speedster stove set up, there's obviously holes at the top there where heat can escape more. So yep, for efficiency, it goes to the Featherlight 700. So for longevity, this one's going to be slightly biased because I have been using the Speedster stove setup since 2016. This is fairly new, this one. Um, my old one was looking a bit tatty, but it was still perfectly functional. But I did want to replace it with something that just looked a bit fresher. But... With this, I don't know, it is really thin titanium and I'm sure it's a strong material, but I'm just worried I'm going to damage the little tabs or bend it. Um, I'm worried that you could cut yourself in this if you're not careful. This is just my personal opinion, I could be totally wrong, but I just feel for longevity that the Speedster stove system will last longer than that. But given that I've only boiled this once, it'd be unfair to write this off completely. We'll see how people get on with this further down the line. So I'm just going to call that one a draw because it's not a fair test per se. So the all-important cost, how much are you going to have to shell out for one of these systems? So I can tell you at the moment, the Fillerlite 700 will set you back £99. That includes a little bottle for storing some of your bioethanol and your drawstring stuff sack as well. There's a couple options for speedster stoves. If you want their full setup where you get everything like this, the shield, the pot and the stove, it'll cost you £52 and that is called the Border Raider Setup. If like me, you've already got a pot, somewhere to say the Alp Kit or an MSR Titan pot, I think they're called. Gary makes these stand shields for some of the popular pots. If you've got a pot that's not listed on his website, you just drop him an email with the dimensions and he'll make you a bespoke one as well. So that'll cost about £28 just for the shield, um, the stove and a base plate, which is obviously optional. And the full border radar setup is £52. So on this occasion, the point goes to Speedster Stoves for being quite a bit cheaper. To bring this review to a conclusion, which setup would I go for? So during the review, they've obviously came in at a draw. It was free all but I am still swaying towards my Speedster stove setup. And the reason being is at the moment, I'm just finding this one too fiddly to set up. I'm sort of imagining being on a cold winter's night, you're cold and you're hungry and you're fiddling about trying to set up that. I just think it'd be a pain. I could get the knack to it and set up no problem. It'd 
some people make it look easy so it might just be me on this occasion but that puts me off the good thing about this is everything fits in the pot it's designed to do that so that is a bonus whereas if i wanted everything to fit in the pot i'd have to go out and buy the speedster stoves border raider kit for 52 pounds so i'm not going to do that so i'm sticking with this but yeah other than that it's up to you at the end of the day this is obviously much quicker at boiling you're saving a minute if not more depending on how much you're boiling so I'll leave it to you guys, but if you've got any questions or comments, please do let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give me a little thumbs up and I shall catch you next one. Cheers.